Hey guys, welcome to Chase After the Right Price. My name is Chase and today I'm doing a massive trade for some beautiful video games. The most amazing comic book I've ever seen among other things. So let's do it. <laughs> these are just for you from a storage unit. Hey. And then these the price are just is right. for you. <laughs> Ooh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just after the wrong price. What do you get? Just after the wrong price. You know. <laughs> this is the stuff that we agreed on. Oh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> what do you okay. want? You want to look at these? Yeah, I'll put them up. It's kind of tag of the intro video. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's I like the that. other day. <laughs> That was a good shot. Beautiful. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, that was all thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't feel like I don't yeah. even need to check anything at this point. <laughs> Sweet. And then I'm I'll just coming. To get you. Here's the stuff that you had Is it a I game edition? What? What is it? Yeah, it's just like a weird camo edition. Okay. So it's valued at about 20, so I'll give you 10. Oh, how about 15? <laughs> <laughs> Would you be good with like 300? 320. Because one more, then I, you know, I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, that I think they're worth probably like five. And two. Yeah, I'll give you that. Sweet. And uh, he has, oh, did you, so we want that Charizard that you have. The, the Blastoise? Or the, yeah, the Blastoise or whatever. Do you, you said you have a Charizard too or no? I'm, I'm keeping that one. Okay. So we'd be interested in the Blastoise, but uh, okay. whatever, if you want to pick some stuff out of here that's worth 150 or if there's anything in here, we can work something different out. Okay. Because this is just what she said. She put up there. And then another bag. Okay. Here. All right, so I am now back from visiting Michael, shout out to Michael, just, we've done so many deals together, he's an awesome dude, and this time, he wanted some silver coins, he just kind of asked if I had any silver or gold, and I do, I did, <laughs> which he has now, so I had some silver quarters, halves, dollars, um, and basically, he gave me the value where if they were 99% silver, which they're actually 90% silver, so he took care of me in that aspect. Uh, collectible coins, they can have a bit more value than silver spot, but I was okay with that. I wanted to maybe hook him up a little bit, a little bit since he's hooked me up so much. But I'm still really happy with what I got. Basically, he went through some video games. Uh, the value came to around 1000 And he took off 15% of price charting, and we just did equal trade from there. Normally, as you guys know, that's not how I do trades. I like to double up on trades, but since he's taken care of me so many times, I was fine for just doing equal value trade. But these video games are really awesome. So, for about $1,000 of silver coins, this is what I got. Dragon Quest, is that what that is? Yes, Dragon Quest Monsters, Joker, complete. Luminous Arc, and most of the games are complete. And then Pokemon Diamond, so, Pretty awesome there. We've got some nice GBA games, including Fire Emblem, Pokemon Ruby, and Castlevania. So there's those three. Beautiful condition, they are authentic. And then just a box full of goodness. So there's the whole box. I'll kind of go through, pull out some of the nicer stuff and show you. So Atrian Odyssey, um, Final Fantasy, New Super Mario Bros, and then Final Fantasy 3. Also Mega Man ZX, and 
Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. So that's game only. And then there's a nice stack of Wii U games, including Smash Wii U, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, got the Kirby Dream Collection, New Super Mario Bros. U and Luigi U, and then Mario Kart 8, awesome game. Got a nice stack of Wii games, Smash, Kart, and New Super Mario Bros. So some of the staples there. And then there's a whole bunch of GameCube games. And GameCube games are just worth crazy money these days. These aren't even like the AAA titles, but they're pretty nice ones. Mario Golf, Time Splitters 2, Disney Extreme Skate Adventure, uh, a couple Turtles games, Star Wars Clone Wars. And then we've got Simpsons Hit and Run, Shadow the Hedgehog, a 007, a couple of those. Actually, like all four of them. Over the Hedge, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. There's a few more. Incredibles. And then Rampage and Army. Army Men, Sarge's War. Also got a Smash Bros. Melee disc only. And then a Mario Kart Double Dash disc only. And then two first party GameCube controllers. So that was that trade. And I'm pretty happy with it, so I think it'll be a little bit easier for me to sell and get 1,000 plus on video games than it would be for coins. And Michael just loves investing in, in silver and gold, so we worked out a trade together on that one, and I'm happy with it. But he also brought more, which he does every time. That's just how he rolls. So... He just let me go through, make an offer. I usually offer about half of the value. So we got a Wii U. There's the gamepad. I paid 320 bucks for this entire bin. You guys may have seen that transaction. And then there's another Mario Kart Wii, Champions of Norath for PS2. Those are disc only. And then the biggest part of the value is the PS4 Slim, which comes with the matching controller. And then there's the black Wii Remote Plus for the Wii. Also got an extra white PS4 controller. And then there's a few games buried in here, but nothing really notable, like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and stuff like that. So, yeah, I paid him 320 bucks. Kind of made, it's a pretty strong offer. Uh, for those that don't know, I sell most of my video games on Amazon FBA. That stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. And in a lot of cases, I'm able to get more for video games on Amazon than eBay. So that enables me to be able to pay a little more for video games because of the prices that I can get. Um, and I think people are willing to pay more on Amazon because there's just a higher expectation of service, uh, easier returns if something is wrong. And they just kind of take care of you a lot better than eBay. At least that's what people believe. So those are some of the reasons. But Brother Dave does a good job cleaning the video games as well and testing. And we make sure everything is good to go. So uh, my profile on Amazon is pretty strong with good feedback rating. So I think that's a big part of the reason I'm able to get more. But I'm happy with that transaction for 320 bucks. And then we didn't get live film of this, but this was definitely the coolest piece that I bought and one of the coolest pieces I bought in a very long time. So this is X-Men vs. Avengers number one. It's graded, authenticated, CGC 9.8 with four signatures on it. And guess who's on there? Stan Lee himself. So the icon, Stan Lee, I just thought this was so amazing. Uh, there's only one slightly similar sold on eBay. It went for about 460 bucks, but that one had three signatures and was only a 9.6. This is a 9.8 with four signatures. So you've got Oliver Koipel, Stan Lee, Jim Chung, and Mark Morales. So there you have it, guys. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. So that was Michael's buddy that brought that along. So thank you for that. And then Michael also threw in a whole stack of sports cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, 
just kind of stuff to literally support the mutual fund or mutual flip. <laughs> Um, and he wrote on here, why chase after the wrong price when you can chase after the right price? And the price was indeed right because it was free. So thank you, Michael, for that. I uh, haven't really been through those too much, but I do see a Michael Jordan right on top. Uh, a few of them. So three Michael Jordans. There's some Scotty Pippins. Um, not sure if there's going to be anything like too major, but it definitely is going to help mutual flip. So I definitely appreciate that. But now we're going to roll into sports card pickups. We went to a sports card shop, really small shop, mom and pop shop. So not really a place that we can film, but I do want to show what we picked up and kind of talk about why. So if you go into a sports card shop, you know, what are some things you can look for? This is one of them. Pretty signature blue box, 1989 upper deck. This is the factory set. This has gone up in value recently. So I paid 75 bucks for it. I didn't even try to negotiate. This was the item I started with because I like to get on good terms with him in the beginning when negotiating. And I literally did. He was very happy uh, with a full price offer on this guy. And it's worth two to 250 bucks. So the reason that's worth so much is because of the Ken Griffey Jr. card in there, card number one. Uh, greater to 10 is just shot up in value. So factory set with that also is gonna shoot up in value because of that. And then we've got the USFL, uh, I think this is 1984, this is an iconic set, got the original Steve Young rookie card, Jim Kelly, Reggie White, and you know their NFL rookie cards and most of these guys are 86 or 87, and then Herschel Walker also. So that's a complete set, he wanted 300, I paid 240, and he was again happy with that offer. And then some of the other stuff we picked up, Michael Jordan inserts. So this is a Living Legends and then a Nuts and Bolts. I think paid $25 for one and three for the other. And I'm pretty sure both of those are probably worth about twice as much as what we paid. So quick shout out to Market Movers because Michael Jordan inserts are definitely going up in value and that's something that you can see if you use that tool. We partnered with them. All the info on that's gonna be in the description. So check that out. You can get 20% off your first payment and it supports our channel if you do it. So you can go by the month, pay just a few bucks and get yourself a membership. Barry Sanders, rookie card, five bucks. I just, pretty cool Oscar Mayer tall rookie card. This is nice. David Robinson rookie on top of the pack. So he wanted 30, I paid 20. That is his hoops rookie card. And then Vlad Guerrero Jr. So this is graded, authenticated. The autograph is authentic. They didn't actually grade the card. He wanted 150, I paid 100. Still not the best buy, but I think he's gonna go up in value because he's a home run hitter and I feel like he's gonna have a good season. So I got into that for 100 bucks for an autograph rookie. I'm happy with that. And then a cool little throw in, he had a binder full of Marvel cards and then there's even some Nintendo cards on here, like Nintendo Power uh, stuff. So Donkey Kong Country cards, Mega Man X cards. Just had to get those, and he literally just threw them in. I think he was wanting a quarter a piece, but since I bought so much, he threw those right in. So that was our day. We actually spent quite a long time at the card shop just looking. It takes a little bit of work to find stuff at those, but we did well. I just wanted to do a full pickup so you guys could see exactly what went on in our entire day. Video games, traded coins for them. I also had a big card purchase at one of the card shops we didn't get any film of, I didn't do a pickup for, and then you guys saw what I got at the second card shop. Busy day. Uh, we're focusing pretty hardcore on video games, as always, but then there's money to be made in sports cards and Pokemon cards. So some of you guys have been wondering, why am I doing so much of that? I mean, that's the reason, because the market's hot right now. But also, that's where I got my start. My first 10 years of reselling as a kid through high school was sports cards, was Pokemon cards. So I love them, and they're a fun market to be in. So hopefully you guys have learned something in sports cards since we've been doing sports card videos. Hit that like button if you had, if you have. And we appreciate you guys watching this one. It was a lot of fun and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.